to share files, printers, other hardware, music, videos, and so on between computers in your own home on your own private network, you need to create a home group. I've searched Microsoft for what is a home group. Let me make this a little bigger if I can. A home group simply makes it easier to share the things on your home network. There are lots of things you can share and other people can't get to those files or change them unless you give them permission. When you set up a computer with Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8, uh, you can create a home group if one isn't created automatically. So what I have at home, I already have a home group from my other computers and I want to join that home group. So I'm just going to go here to Cortana and I'm going to type in home group. This little search thing here. I could have I said I could have said hey Cortana and, and ask it to tell me about home groups. Up at the top it says home group control panel. I'm going to click that. This is going to open up control panel exactly to the parts of home group that I need, which is to join. I hope. Hey Cortana. Open control panel. All right, so that didn't happen exactly as I wanted, but here we are. And notice under network and internet, it says choose home group and sharing options. So I'm going to click that. And notice it says that I do have a home group. I've got a home group created on a gateway computer, and I can join that home group. And I click join now. I have to type in a password, though. I'll click next. Choose what I want to share. You can see documents is not shared by default. If you want to share that, you can. If you don't want to share some of these other things, you can choose to not share them. I think the defaults are fine for most home networks. I'm going to click next. Notice it says verifying your password. I've already typed in my password once. Okay, great. So uh, it already remembers that I have already joined this home group and has this password in its, in its sites there. But if you don't know your password, you'll have to go to the other computer, go through the same process where it, and go to the control panel and choose to view the password and then just type it in here. So I click finish. And now I have options about the home group. Notice I can allow all devices on this network, such as TVs and game consoles, to play my shared content. You can change that if you don't want that content played on televisions and game consoles. You can view or print the password. You can leave the home group. You can only join one home group at a time. So if you want to take, say, this laptop to someone else's house and join their home group for whatever reason, you're going to need to leave this one for a while. You can come back to it when you're ready. There are some advanced sharing settings. I'll just click on this so you can see what these are. Things should be turned on by default once you're in a home group, such as network discovery, file and printer sharing, and so on. You can also change any other thing related to guests in all networks. So some, some things to look at there if, you, if you'd like. Back to this, you can take a look in the Network and Sharing Center, information about your network as well. It's private. I've joined the home group and I'm connecting via Wi-Fi. If I click to join here, you can get back to this page again that shows you exactly what you're sharing and how. And go ahead and get to the settings to say change the password, leave the home group, and so on. Once you have a home group set up, it's very easy to do other things such as access media from other PCs. As noted in some other videos I have where you uh, Go to, say, Windows Media Player and access music on other PCs by adding the library. So there's a lot of things you can do. I highly suggest it. Good luck.